how to do the connection of this ATS which is displaying on the screen is already discussed in my previous video. After complete connection of this ATS, I gave it to my friend for his office. But there are some issues arising during the working of ATS. What were the issues? Let's discuss. What happened is sometime main power supply got tripped and changeover takes place. But when supply comes back and trip again in few moments, then this ATS performs changeover again and again. What I am saying is power supply comes back to normal, changeover takes place. When continuously changeover takes place, generator supply is getting on and off again and again. And this should not be happened. So today in this video, we are going to solve the problem of repeated changeover. If you want to learn how to solve this problem completely, then watch the video till the last. Okay, let's start the video. I am removing this control wiring of ATS so that you can understand clearly. As you can see, this type of ATS is used at my office. Look at these knobs which is used for programming the time. This means how much time interval must be there when power supply comes back and changeover takes place by ATS can be done in this ATS. But this ATS which I have now is simple one. Only changeover happens in this. No programming options are given in this ATS. So I will connect a timer to modify this ATS. I am mounting this timer here. I will do the connection of timer through control wiring. How power wiring was done, let's have a look. In this RCBO, we provided input power supply here. Which means power supply through energy meter is connected here. Similarly, the power supply of generator or UPS must be connected to input terminal of this MCB. From this main power supply MCB, connect wires at output terminals with source A of ATS. It may be not visible, but I am trying to show you. You can see source A is written here. In these terminals, you have to connect the grid power supply. After this, from MCB for UPS or generator, connect two wires at output terminals and connect other ends of wire at source B terminals of ATS. After that, whatever the load may be, for now I am using a lamp. The power supply to this lamp will be supplied through the terminals of ATS. You can see these lower side terminals, from here power will be supplied. For this ATS only, this much power wiring is required. Now we will learn about control wiring. This ATS which is of CNC company has a control terminal over here. You can see 5 terminals are provided for control wiring. At these 2 terminals, you have to provide feedback of source A. This means to check the power supply at these terminals, you have to provide feedback at these 2 terminals. Similarly for power supply of generator also, you have to provide feedback at these 2 terminals. After providing power supply feedback to control terminal only, this ATS makes changeover automatically. What we have to do is, at our main power supply terminal, connect one more wire at the same point. The other end of the wire is to be connected at on delay timer. Remember, the timer which you are using must be on delay timer. The timer I am using here is a multifunction timer which can be used as on delay timer. That is why I am referring this as on delay timer. Okay. So the other end of the wire is to be connected at A1 terminal of timer. I connected the wire with this terminal. I am using one more piece of wire and connecting one end of wire with neutral terminal of main power supply. The other end of the wire is to be connected to A2 terminal of timer in this way. Why am I using timer in this control wiring of ATS? Let's clear this concept. Before what we used to do is from phase supply and neutral supply, we directly make connection with control terminal. But now we introduce timer in between because when supply comes to these terminals, this timer will operate and after the program time only, supply will go to control terminal. You will perfectly understand this concept at the last when wiring will be completed. For now, what I will do is, you can see common terminal of this timer. Common terminal of this timer is 15 number terminal. We need to provide phase supply to this 15 number terminal. You know that at this terminal of ATS, we provided phase supply from output terminals of this MCB. So I am using a piece of wire and I am connecting one end of the wire with phase terminal of MCB. The other end of the wire is to be connected at 15 number terminal of timer. At the anno contact of this timer, connect one end of a piece of wire. 
At 18 number terminal, we have to connect a wire. Take other end of the wire and connect to phase supply terminal of control terminal of main power supply. At the control terminal of main power supply, connect a wire at neutral point for neutral supply. So I am connecting this wire at neutral terminal. The other end of the wire is to be connected at incoming of main power supply. So I am connecting with this terminal only. Now this control terminal is of source B. We have to provide feedback of source B. If you want for your source B, like generator or UPS, there is a time delay for changeover, you have to use one more timer. The way we did connection of this timer for source A, in the same way connection of timer with source B can be done. I don't want any delay time for generator. The moment at which main power supply trip, this changeover must take place and power is supplied to our home through generator. If you want this changeover directly, then what you have to do is connect a wire with phase terminal of source B. The other end of the wire is to be connected at phase terminal of control terminal of source B. You can see I connected this wire with this terminal. Okay. Connect one more wire with neutral point of source B and connect other end of the wire with neutral terminal of control terminal. We provided the feedback of phase supply and neutral supply at this control terminal. The control wiring of this ATS is now completed. Now at this ATS, I am changing the knob at source A. I selected at main power supply. Now if I turn on this main power supply MCB, this lamp will also turn on. You can see lamp is on now. On turning off MCB, lamp turns off. On turning on, lamp turns on. This generator MCB is at off position. Turn this on also. Both the power supply are at on condition. And for now, ATS is using source A power supply. If you look at the auto manual switch, it is selected at manual mode. In this condition, if main power supply fails, then you have to do the changeover manually. On again switching the position, LAN turns off. Now let's switch off the generator power supply and select this auto manual switch at auto position. If I switch on the generator power supply, you just saw ATS perform the changeover. Look carefully to this knob. On switching on this MCB, it will do the changeover. Look carefully. You just saw that how changeover takes place instantly. If your main power supply again fails, then this ATS will do the changeover. When power supply comes back, it is performing changeover instantly. I told you before by using timer, we can delay this. We have to first select the delay time. I am switching off both the MCB. I am using this as on delay timer, so I am setting this knob to A position. A means on delay timer. These two knobs are used for setting time. For now, I am setting this as 10 seconds. I selected the 10 second position. This knob is to be selected to 100% so that timer will set time as 10 seconds. If I select this to 50%, timer will set the time as 5 seconds. So I selected 100%. For now, both the power supply is at off position. This knob is selected at main power supply. I am switching on the generator power supply. We saw that changeover took place fastly. Now if I switch on the main power supply, you saw that changeover didn't take place. In my timer, this LED is blinking. You see, it's blinking. Means countdown is started. On completion of countdown, automatically changeover is done by ATS. Point is when main power supply fails, changeover will take place instantly but when main power supply comes back, this changeover will not take place instantly. It will wait to check whether your main supply is not failing again. If your main supply didn't fail again, then after the program time programmed in timer, this changeover will take place automatically. You saw that how changeover was done. So finally, I solved the problem with ATS by connecting a timer in between.